Fine. You okay. won't see much in Adelaide. Adelaide's a sh**. No whoa, whoa. disrespect. No disrespect. Whoa. I can say that because whoa. I travelled there multiple times, and I just I didn't enjoy it. I found it to be incredibly dull and boring. Dull and boring. Dull and boring. With these comments, the entire state just went. You gonna smack me, bitch? In front of my pants. People are mad at what you said, Lucy. They're writing articles. And I too feel struck to my core. I get that Lucy has already apologized for what she said about Adelaide a couple of days ago, but I yet haven't had my say. And I don't know if you know or not, but I'm a very passionate person when it comes to people saying things like, this is boring, there's nothing to do, about not only just Adelaide, pretty much anywhere in general. Here's a hot tip that makes me sound like every single parent slash baby boomer ever. If you find a place boring, it's more than likely you, not the place. You said Adelaide's a boring place. Just because it doesn't go, hey motherfucker. I hear something to do that's fun! As soon as you hop off the plane doesn't make it a boring place. In fact, what places do do that? Other than when you land on a tropical island like Fiji and the locals are singing the sweetest songs as you're trying to get through customs. And then the most tender Fijian lady comes and places a shell necklace around your white ass neck that's about to get burnt to a f***ing crisp on the beach for the next two weeks as you post pictures to your Instagram with captions like How's your Monday? Piss off, Rachel. In a week, you'll be back in the cubicle next to me. So don't act like you're better than anyone else. I get it. Lucy probably grew up in an extremely exciting city like Sydney or Melbourne. With all the light shining so brightly in her face, she's got to wear sunglasses 24-7. What the f***? Canberra? You're talking shit about Adelaide? And you're from Canberra? What? Come on, loose! Doesn't Canberra just have that building that's trying to be like it's from Coober Pedy? Just with a bit of lawn? You know, where the Prime Minister lives? Now, if you're from Canberra and you're offended by that comment, you've proved my point about just how fun Adelaide can be. Haven't you? It's a cute enough city, but you're not going to get any up, up to any mischief. You say Adelaide's not a place to cause mischief. What did you get up to the last time you visited the festival state, Lucy? Did you charge your way down Hindley Street like the little sesh gremlin that you are? Hire a bus with your gals to have one too many savvy bees on a wine tour? Punch through some beers on the hill during a test match? Or is cricket too dull and boring for you? Actually, cricket's not the most exciting sport in the world, is it? If alcoholic mischief is not what you're talking about, you can skydive here, cook a barbecue on a big ass boy, learn how to sword fight, have an acai bowl by the bay just like they do in Bondi. And we now have those electric scooters, so you could say Adelaide's actually come pretty far. <laughs> a lot of people told Lucy never to come back after what she said about Adelaide, but in this instance, I agree with our Premier, Stevie Marshall, when he invited Lucy to revisit this cute little city. Lucy, don't be dull and boring. Come and visit Adelaide again. I'll show you the mischief you can cause here. That sounded a little bit sexual. Not what I intended, 100% platonic mischief will be managed. We'll share a farmer's union iced coffee in the morning while nibbling on some fruit chocks and then head to some West End drafts and brew chocks at night. What do you say, Luce? Don't be like that weird old mate ad. Here's your formal invitation. Come and visit Adelaide ASAP. Mwah.